All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So what we're looking at is the upper. This is the 300 blackout upper that I just finished building. And what I want to do is I want to mount this ProTac with the rail mount AGLX. This is the 1000 lumen model. Now, what we're going to do differently, I'm not going to test this light. Everybody's got a, a video out there and you really don't need to see mine. I mean, it's 1000 lumens, 23 hours operation, and it's got the strobe action and everything else. And this specific one comes with the, uh, the tape switch on it. So... What I wanted to do was I want to take a look at this guy right here. Now this is the, well, the angled mount by Arasaka. And when I started looking at different options of mounting this specific optic or not this, this specific flashlight or weapons light, I was looking at all the options that were available to me. And one of the reasons why I was looking at all the options, because you can go with a bunch of different variations. Uh, there are so many different manufacturers out there, but I wanted to do something that was a little bit different. So I saw this on one of Mr. Guns and Gears videos, ErasakaDefense.com. You can go to Facebook, Arasaka Defense. But in any case, one of the things is, is this is set up for the Scout. And when I read all the descriptions, they said, yeah, it will work with the Streamlight. Now you gotta forgive me, it's about 100 degrees out in my shop right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull this thing out and mount it to this 300 blackout. Now, a gentleman said that's a pretty big light to put on there, and you know what? I, I, I can agree with you, but I'm looking at the different mounting options, and one of the things that you don't want to do is burn your light up. Now, I tell you what we could do is I could put this thing down on the lower portion right here as opposed to up so it doesn't block the, or the birdcage fur. That's an idea. So, one of the things that I did read is that this will indeed fit <laughs> this Arasaka, which is set up for the Scout Mini. So let's go ahead and pull out the old, uh, what do you call those things, the Allen wrenches, and get to work here and mount this guy up. I wanna go ahead and also incorporate the, the tape switch, all the mounting options, all the neat doodads for this guy, because I'm gonna set this thing up as a pretty cool little deal here. Hmm. And one of my things is it needs to be long enough. And that might just get in the way. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see how it works out. Let's go ahead and get to work. Stand by. So all you gotta do is you go ahead and remove the rail section right here. And these screws just unscrew. Let's go ahead and get rid of all that mess. And there you go. So that just removes itself just like that. We can go ahead and put the screws back in, but well, they got nothing to screw to. So what we may do is just go ahead and put those back into the holes that they came from so that they are preserved. I don't know if they'll screw all the way back in, but we're gonna find out. So that's a good way to preserve your screws. Go ahead and just put them back in the screw holes right there. Now the Arasaka mount does come with its own screws. As you can see, this is a really good aluminum here anodized go ahead now I don't have to worry about losing those we go ahead and keep this put this back in your box now what do we want to do now I got to do is figure out how I want to mount this guy do I want to put him low do I want to put him high don't want to burn it don't want to set it back here I always like to put my lights up at least in front of the muzzle because what happens is the light projects out like this so if you have it behind the muzzle back here well, you're gonna miss something over there on the left-hand side. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and mount this little booger to the light, <laughs> the light itself. And you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is try to mount it down low and see how that works. But the idea here is to eliminate the light being out here and put it down there. So you're a little bit tucker, tucked in. It's not as big a profile. And this guy right here, Matt, well, believe it or not, it is not cheap. These are about, um, I want to say, this was $43 online. All right, so what we're going to do is going to go ahead and mount it down low. And guys, I'm pretty excited about this because this is one of those deals where you really want to have your act together. As you can see, that thing is down pretty low, and it's away from my hand guard, which is kind of what I wanted. All right, 
So is that the way I want it? Not really. It, it gets in the damn way. So what are we going to do here? I guess we're going to have to mount it up and high. And I don't really want to do that because it's going to be in direct downhill run of the A2 bird cage. So let's go ahead and pull it off. This may be boring to a lot of people, but what this is, is this is part of your planning. Piss poor planning prevents whatever it is, because I've never had any piss poor planning. Outstanding. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and mount it in position where it's going to be above, but I still do not like it near that birdcage. But it is what it is, guys. Perfect. All right, now that's beautiful. And what I'm trying to do is make sure that one, <laughs> my hand doesn't get up here because that's the last thing you want to do. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and see how well it works. Now, a friend of mine, Mr. Razor, told me that one of the things I may want to do is to try to bring these springs out just a little bit more gently so that they have more contact because these guys, the streamlines, have been known to produce a flickering. So let's go ahead and pull our little miniature screwdriver out here and do ahead and operate on this thing. I'm going to do it off. Might as well go ahead and pop the batteries in here real quickly. Let's see how that works. Now that mount is awesome. I do like that. It's simple, it's easy, and it works. And it works with your streamline. So go ahead and bring, bring that up. And that's, there you go. Boom, 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 boom. All right, guys, well, that's it. I'm not gonna get into the mounting of this thing. There's plenty of people out there, but if you're interested in a mount, the key mod mount that's really, really nice, this is it, Arasaka. And uh, this is meant for the Mini Scout, but it will fit that Streamlight. It's us go to Boy32. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate and leave them down below. We always end it like this. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. This freedom is not free. It's go to Boy32. Out.